Hi, this is Steve with Taking It Slow. Um, recently had an issue with the hanger bracket breaking, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video on this to let everybody else know that has this that uh, they may want to get this upgrade taken care of. Uh, I have a 21 Keystone Montana uh, with a lippered frame and the leaf spring hanger bracket, um, it broke. Uh, this is my fifth wheel and this is the truck. And how this whole thing had come to about is was traveling down Highway 20, heading east, came into Louisiana, hit Shreveport, and that city has some very, very rough roads inside the city, speed limit 60, which is what I was doing. And all of a sudden, it's just a bang, you know, the whole, everything is jumping because the road is just a mass uh, roller coaster and everything was just going up and down. Um, I slowed down as fast as I could without slamming on the brakes and causing the fifth wheel here to um, hit the truck even harder. Uh, so, and I slowed down, um, did that several places in the city, uh, and it hap what happened, what happened. Uh, somewhere in there, um, I had a hanger spring, the bracket broke. And there was the one right here on the passenger side. There it is. And you can see that it's been already been rewelded. When it occurred, that was a bracket that broke. And what I noticed when I was driving, that all of a sudden, I, and I looked at my rear view mirror and, my, and I see, saw, saw the side of the RV. Going, well, that's not right. Something's wrong there. Pulled over as soon as I could, looked over, and this axle, was shifted forward and it was about one inch from hitting this tire and what had stopped it from hitting the tire was right here these had both crammed all the way up here as hard as you could do it and you can see the silver there the silver there is showing that's where these things were all crammed together and right up in here and tight sorry I didn't focus so the, and then this thing was also rocked. Um, in essence, this axle was, you had no suspension back here. Everything was going on the front axle. And anyway, that side uh, caused this thing to walk sideways. So I turned around, had to find a mobile welder. I have roadside of service uh, assistance, called them. They didn't have, they provided no assistance at all. And I turned around and I ended up having to... So then, uh, while I was waiting for the welder to show up, he said he was about an hour out. Started looking at the rig while it was hooked up to the truck. And right here, you can see a little bit of a white gap. This thing was showing probably a half inch to an inch worth of white gap. This had come down significantly. Um, so there, and then I called Keystone about this, uh, about the uh, hanger bracket and about this thing happened down. And they were primarily just worried about the hanger bracket and getting it repaired and all taken care of. So we went ahead and uh, we got the welder, got it all taken care of. They didn't seem to put too much concern in this because uh, like I said, you know, this thing was here, had all shifted all the way down here um, on both sides had shifted and again this is why it was hooked up to the truck so the welder sh uh, showed up and I'll put some clips in there I didn't take a movie of him I just took some photos of his truck um, and show him underneath the rig working and welding away or grinding away and fixing it and found that the uh, bracket had not been adequately welded um, it looked like it was a nice weld, but the weld was not, not uh, burned into both sides of the material. Uh, therefore, it really caused that to weaken. Um, the first time I've wanted into something like this, I'd never researched it, never thought about it. And so we were just uh, rocking and rolling. Anyway, um, he did come out. He did, did a, he did a weld job. Um, probably worked on it 40 minutes from when there the time he got there and again you can see 
you know, the repairs that he did. And uh, he did a real good job. Didn't paint it up. I didn't expect him to. But uh, I haven't welded it up yet or painted it. Say, sorry about that. Painted it to make it look good because uh, I wanted to get everything else taken care of and back. Um, did some research when I got uh, to my RV site and found out that it's a common issue that Lippert actually has a repair kit to go in there. Uh, and the newer RVs, my understanding, could they come standard. Um, so, talking to uh, Keystone about it, they're actually sending me out the V-brackets at no cost. Um, and I can take it and have them welded in. And that's going to be no cost to me either, to have those things welded in. Um, I'll show you a picture of um, what the brackets look like welded in. You can see I'll have it here and I'll show it to you. And also the uh, blueprints for the V-block that they're actually putting into those things. I'm hoping to have those things installed next week uh, when we're pulling out of here and getting that taken care of. So did that research. Um, you'll see that. But then I also did some research on what was going on here and found out the problem is that's an indication of a broken frame. So the broken frame will be in the pin box area. And the difference was is uh, when it's on the truck, the gap shows. When the weight's off the truck and back on its landing here, then the gap closes up. And as this one here shows, it's completely, almost completely closed up. So I'm gonna have another video on that. Um, but one of the things uh, Lippard, or not Lippard, uh, Keystone stated right off the bat was, well, you must be overweight. So, I mean, I'll uh, show you exactly what I have in this rig when I do that video. Uh, because I'll wait until we bring this one to a conclusion to do it. I hope it'll be to a conclusion um, and, and we'll present that video to you at that time. But yeah, just let you know there's another one. Um, and I also, I think coming through Shreveport with the roads pounding, when the suspension gave out in the back end and this whole front end was just jumping up and down and pounding on the truck, it was the fifth wheel of the kingpin here were separating, you know, had a gap in here, and you could just hear, you know, the, the you know the fifth wheel just banging on this. And I think at that time that occurred, and I think it occurred because I lost half of my suspension on the one side. So um, that's what I'm seeing. We'll go from there, but uh, I'll show you what I have in the RV to, to answer their question. Did I overload this guy? So thank you. I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, you can reach out to your manufacturer or if nothing else, reach out to Lippard and uh, see about getting these V-blocks yourself so you can get them welded in and fix your hanger. Have a great day.